Hey everybody, um, got a new tool for you, about ready to check it out. I've already logged in. I just used my Google credentials, it says it's free, we'll find out. Uh, sorry, I'm in a t-shirt, I'm about ready to go for a run. Weather is finally nice here in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, but wanted to get this done. So this is audiopen.ai and uh, just for listeners out there, viewers who aren't familiar, I've been talking a lot about about apps and websites that are malware or very sketchy. So how do you figure out if something's legit? So I wanted to walk you through that. First, obviously, you should always go to their privacy poly policy, terms of use, see if they've just been cut and pasted, see if there's actually an email contact information. Use your spidey senses there. If it looks like boilerplate, there's nothing really specific. I, I don't know if I would trust it. But another good way is you see this featured on Product Hunt. For those of you who don't know what Product Hunt is, it's basically a, I wouldn't call it a marketplace, but it's a way for new startups, new apps to basically, they offer some uh, discounts, but they're basically launching a new product and the community around Product Hunt like upvotes it and all that. It's a good way to find legitimate apps and tools. It's not foolproof. But again, if you go to the Product Hunt page, the founder of the startup, the app builder usually is here. And here you can see it's this person named Lewis. He's the, he's the maker here. He has a profile on Product Hunt, it has a picture. You can see he's responsive. Um, he's walking you through this. You can ask questions, other users can ask questions. So this is a really good way of understanding that like this app isn't some fly by night, crazy malware laden thing. So. Uh, go to Product Hunt or whenever you see the Product Hunt badge, it's really cool. So what does this basically do? Well, I guess I'm supposed to just start talking and it's going to transform unstructured voice notes into summarized text. So let me give it access to my microphone and I guess it's already recording. Free version gives me three minutes. So what would I want to do here? Um, so I've got a number of talks coming up at law firms. They've been reaching out to me to explain generative AI uh, to partners uh, to introduce them to tools like ChatGPT and other conversational AI, not really focused on image generation or song generation or anything like that, really focused on two main things. How can lawyers and business of law professionals use tools like ChatGPT or Bing to power both the practice of law and the business of law? Now, I obviously have this all outlined. I'm building the decks and the presentations and all that. One thing I'm working on, and I've been working on this afternoon, is really trying to get six, you got 45 minutes, basically, really 15 minutes for questions and comments. I don't want to just talk. I'm not a, like, lecturer. I get bored with myself. So, like, how do you talk to people? It's going to be virtual. So that to get the extreme value out of 45 minutes. Yeah, I could just talk to them. I could present slick decks and all that cool, good, good enough, maybe. No, I want them to build something. I want them at their keyboards, working on something, using a prompt and all that while I'm talking to them. So what I'm trying to work on today is how do I build into my presentation a series of exercises, maybe three or four quick ones, where at the end of the session, the partners will be able to read out the responses from chat GPT and it's something immensely useful for them. So can I have them slowly build up a complete 30 day marketing strategy with 30 pieces of content that they can then post themselves, ask an associate or someone else to post on their behalf or something like that. Boom. We know content generation is a big problem. We know that most people don't want to write blogs. I'm not a real big blog. I hate saying that word, by the way. Social posts and all that. So might that be useful? Or I'm thinking, can we create sort of a micro strategy for their practice group? Can I have them identify like a really niche customer segment, uh, define a value proposition from their practice group around that? then create some messaging, maybe a cold email, maybe a warm email to an existing client, like that gets them hyper-focused and aware of some emerging area that the partner could help them out. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if I gave it almost three minutes. I'm just gonna pause here uh, and I'll let you know how long this takes. 
Okay, so that took about a minute, and this is what it has right here. So it summarized. I blathered. Sorry for boring you there. I was <laughs> just trying to come up with some content. This is pretty good. It did summarize. I said a lot of opening stuff when I was still talking to you before I got into my idea. It, it cut that completely out, so it was able to decipher when I was like talking about something specific versus just random. It took everything I said, I probably sounded like an idiot blathering and made it very concise. This is great. I mean, right now I basically open up, you know, a voice memo on my phone or I open up Gmail and start talking and there's errors and all that. This is pretty cool. Um, Audiopen.ai, uh, there is an Audiopen Prime, obviously, uh, an annual pass, $49, lifetime deal, $100. Uh, I'm not going to go into the exclusive benefits, but uh, check it out. Take care. Have a good weekend.